Uh, my research was done, for, for the record, I'm a professional sociologist, I have a PhD in statistics at ESU. Uh, the research was done at the, the Historical Society, and since I did it, it's my understanding that the documents have kind of been misplaced. Um, I also hear that there's kind of a rumor about whether it was named after an African American man named uh, Albert Forrest, and I think the evidence just totally disproves that. And some of the evidence is the fact that up until the 1930s, the Ku Klux Klan was very active in Lenox County. Uh, in fact, they were organizing in 1993, uh, still uh, recruiting members. Uh, there was a long legacy of lynching in the region. Um, segregation wasn't addressed until the 1970s. Uh, Sonny Martin of the Lenox County School System fought against the desegregation of schools, so the jail knew her. Um, the Lenox County System lost over 300,000 dollars of federal funding and that, that revenue being gone is what really motivated them to desegregate. Um, and in fact, Robinson City Schools only got out of a consent decree a few years ago that the Department of Justice had them under to fully desegregate. So the idea that, that Valdosta was progressive and named the street after an African American man is just uh, kind of a fantasy and I'll, I'll frank this but when we look at the evidence of our community. Um, the other thing I gave you, uh, because when you start trying to talk about these things, uh, and I've done extensive research on this, I've done a documentary film on it, uh, there's all these myths about why the South led the Civil War. So the other thing I gave you was Georgia's own secession statement. Um, so when I drive around and I see these streets uh, and I see the, the monument that was put on the courthouse <coughs> on uh, 40 years after the war, Civil War was ended, um, that was all a byproduct of retelling the why the South went to war and succeeded in the Union. So what you have before you is Georgia's official statement about why they left the Union, uh, why they went to war with the Union. And in that statement, uh, they say it's about slavery and retention of slavery and the of slavery. I'm sorry, Mr. George, your time's up. Uh, that has not come up a vote. We don't have another meeting until January. We, we want to have a meeting at the end of this month because of Christmas, and we have not received proper documentation to put that item on the, on the agenda. So that's where we stand right now. I'm, I'm just here to provide you with. I'm sorry, that's it. That's fine. We'll read this, and uh, you know, your time, your time's up. Do you have any questions? My phone number's on there. So okay. Feel free to call. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else in the audience that would like to come forward and speak? Anyone who 